Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about some malware tools. What I use on a daily basis or on a weekly basis or whenever I need to analyze malware. And I want to show you guys my techniques and what tools I use. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. And if you guys are coming back for some fun, let's enjoy. So let's jump onto the desktop and have some fun. Okay, so here we are. So I have about 10 tabs open here. So what we're gonna be going over is the 10 tools that I find pretty good that I've used in the past and I use in the present. So the number one tool that I use a lot is Sandbox Joe. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Sandbox Joe is in the cloud. A lot of these, uh, you can download it to your local machine and you can also use it in the cloud. So this one you have it, you can analyze the architecture of Windows, Mac OS, Android, Linux, and others. So what, what does it mean? So you just take the simple code and you upload it, right? You can go to file and obviously I don't have any code with me. I don't have any files. And then once you analyze this, you can make some changes. You can, you know, whatever VM, etc. And then you go on with your merry way. Then you hit okay and you can hit uh, whatever, accept cookies. And then you can analyze with a uh, sandbox shell. Sorry, the mic is in my face, so I can't really look below. So yeah, so this is a tool that I enjoy, I like. Um, you know, I have an account, but I'm not gonna log into it because that's private. But then you have Cuckoo, Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, all right? So this is another cool tool you can utilize. You can jump onto their site, you can go here, and you can download what pip install dash u, Cuckoo, and you can go on with your merry way, right? You can. Click on this, you can check it out, you can look at the partners and learn more about Cuckoo Automated Malware Analysis, right? So any run I use a lot too. This one is awesome. And they also have this in Try Hack Me. Some rooms, if you do some malware stuff with Try Hack Me, you can definitely get your hands on some of the any run. So if you're interested in that, obviously you can just go, let's see. Uh, if we can find a uh, try hack me uh, any run. Let's see if uh, pyramid, this is another one that I just did, pyramid of the pain or pyramid of pain room. Uh, malware analysis, you can just go right in here. I'm sure you can, uh, let's see, history. Uh, let's see, I can log in. Let me just log in. Can I log in? Is this my right password? I don't even know. Is it? Let's see. Yeah, cool. And obviously this is a uh, rem. So this is not what I wanted to do, but you get the gist. Let me see if you can, uh, this is going to analyze a PDF run, blah, blah, blah. But maybe I should do some rooms with malware, but yeah, anyhow, that's, this is not a try hack me uh, walkthrough today. But any run is definitely another tool that you can utilize and put it in your arsenal and you can utilize it with, uh, with some malware hunting, right? The next one is incident response and malware analysis, right? So you, here's another one you can utilize. You can, you know, and the last time it's been updated was when 2021. So it's been a, it's been a minute, uh, about two years. So you can run this, you can utilize it. See, you can read some of the, uh, documentation here. You can look at the installation, how it's installed. You can see the software requirements, Ansible, etc. And you can see the hardware requirements, the automated installation. You can go ahead and go about installing this. So yeah, let me X out of here. I haven't used that much. I use it a little bit when I did my CHFI. So and that was years ago. So yeah, that was Viper is definitely a good one. It's probably been a while since they updated. Yeah, about five years. But Viper is another one that you can, you know, utilize for your arsenal. Same thing, you know, pip install Viper framework and you just run it with Viper. And if you want to go ahead and check out the documentation, the official documentation, you can go here and check it out. Right. And uh, yeah, first launch, you can install it. Once it's installed, you type in Viper and you can install it. And then you can go about analyzing whatever you're trying to analyze, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, 
I guess you can have these multiple dependencies and claim AV, Tor, whatever, so on and so forth, All right? So that's another one. So the next one here we have is Lemon. Limon. So Sandbox for analyzing malware for Linux. So the same kind of thing, how to use it. You can go ahead and check this out. Click on this malware forensics research, and you can go on with your merry way and just read about static dynamic and, uh, and memory, different types of anal uh, analyzing the malware, okay? So, sorry, I've been talking a lot today and uh, my mouth's actually dry. So hopefully this is not too much longer. All right, so another tool is hybrid analysts. So here we can do a file URL, you know, a file collection, you know, you can report a search. Say for example, you find a hash or a domain, you can say, for an example, try hacking, right? Dot com. So you can search this. Oh, I guess you need a uh, a a uh, an account. But okay, let's just go back to the sandbox. Let's go to files, and you can see. Okay, let's look at this this Excel spreadsheet. You can look and you see what's going on with this. And uh, okay, this is the output. This is some of the craziness showing, and so on and so forth. So you can look and you can practice and learn and whatever your intentions are, right? So that's the, that's the hybrid analysis, right? So next one is file scan. File scan, you can find a URL on the internet that you're using and say, for example, you were, you were sent a document. If I'm hosting something malicious on the internet and it's, uh, I don't know, malware.com slash pat.exe, something like that, right? So you can take that, throw that in here and see if it's actually clean or not. And make sure once you download that path.exe, you know, see, make sure it has a legit signature base and all that stuff, even though it's really easy to, you know, create a payload and sign it to Microsoft and whatever, it's, it's not very difficult. But anyhow, you can do that. And then, you know, you can see, you know, the ind indicators of compromise, the IOCs, et cetera, et cetera. And you can dig deeper. All right, so next one is Sandblast Analysts. So this is from Checkpoint and you need an account with this. I used this when I was working for a company prior and we were a big Checkpoint shop and uh, we utilized this for, you know, check malware and, and other stuff. And there's other tools like uh, Total Virus, right? Total Virus. All right, so let's go to Total Virus. This is another one. And then URL, URL scan.io. And there's a whole bunch of them, but this is, for example, if you want to go ahead and search for a URL, like for example, let's look at this one. And then you can look at live screenshots and say, okay, I don't know what this says, but is it clean? And you, you, know, you can look and see if it's clean and blah, blah, blah. And let's go back to home. And let's go ahead and see like this one. We can take this, we could throw this in total virus or URL. And you can scan it and see if it comes back clean. Okay, there's malicious stuff on here. You know, a Florida net, you know, marks this as malicious. And, you know, you can go ahead and look at the score of one of 90 details government, media sharing, blah, blah, blah. Looks like there's a SHA-256 hash here. And this looks like some Russian stuff. I don't know. And yeah, that's it. So that pretty much concludes this video. You got to see some of the tools that I've used, what I use on a daily basis, and how we can analyze malware using these use, utilizing these tool sets, right? And there's probably a million other tools out there. So if there's any other tools that you have that you utilize, share it in the comments below. I would love to learn, and I'm sure others would like to too. So until next time, folks, have a beautiful day and stay tuned for the next one.